Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden is hoping his campaign will rebound in New Hampshire, but he's not sticking around to find out. Look, we got a lot of good friends here in New Hampshire, but this race isn't over until you got a significant portion of the electorate hadn't voted yet. And I'm going, I'm going to head to South Carolina tonight, and I'm going to go to Nevada, and as I've said in the beginning, we got to look at them all. And uh, I'm feeling good about that. Here to talk about the New Hampshire Democratic primary is Ed Espinosa from Progress Texas and Brian Ruddle, executive director of the Travis County GOP. Thank you both for being here. Good to be here. So tonight is the first real primary for the 2020 election and may possibly give us answers as to which candidate is leading the race for the Democratic nomination. Ed, Joe Biden says he will travel to South Carolina today. Why is he choosing to do that? <laughs> oh, it's a very traditional thing to go to a completely different state on the night of one state's election. No, it's an unconventional thing. He knows he's not going to do well in New Hampshire, so he's trying to save face to go into South Carolina where, in theory, he will do better. Here's a problem. South Carolina may not matter if he doesn't do very well in New Hampshire. And right now, there's a good chance that not only is he going to finish in fourth, but there's an equally good chance that he might finish in fifth place. This is not something that's a very good position for someone who was formerly a vice president. The part of the problem here is that these early states like Iowa and New Hampshire have such an outsized influence on the primary process that 48 other states don't have a say in it, including Texas. It's a problem, but it's also the reality we're dealing with. And the reality is that things aren't looking too good for Joe Biden right now. Brian, what do you make of Biden leaving New Hampshire today and focusing instead on South Carolina? Well, I don't know if Biden's toast, but the bread has certainly been cut. Uh, one thing that we really need to understand about the whole race for the nomination is that at the end of the day, it really comes down to delegate count. Uh, obviously, Joe Biden has not been able to do well in Iowa, projected not to do well in New Hampshire. But if you look at the delegate count, he's only about seven delegates behind uh, where uh, Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders are uh, at the moment. And the Biden strategy really relies on him turning the narrative around in South Carolina. But as Ed said, uh, these early states are really about developing a media net message. And with Joe Biden's main message to voters being, I'm the most electable candidate to beat Donald Trump, uh, well, that argument really falls apart when you fail to win any elections. Mm. Uh, so uh, I think that he's, you know, he's seeing some holes form in his firewall of South Carolina. He needs to get down there, shore those up, because if he does not do well in South Carolina or Nevada, I think on Super Tuesday uh, he's cooked. So let's talk about that. Ed, what do the results of the New Hampshire primary mean to Texas and Super Tuesday states? So these early states, Iowa and New Hampshire, they don't have very many delegates. But what they do have is a ton of momentum and the media coverage and the, the chatter and the, the donations and the, finance, the financial side of the campaign have a major effect based on what happens in Iowa and New Hampshire. So he has to save face. He's got to do well in South Carolina. But listen, South Carolina is, and Nevada, they're important early states. But early voting in Super Tuesday states is going to start before either one of those states finishes their caucus and primary. Texas will start voting before Nevada and South Carolina's elections are over. So it's very important for him to do well in South Carolina. Uh, we got a long road to go ahead of us, but these early states really have an outsized uh, effect on the process. Something needs to be done. All right, Brian, final thought. Uh, final thought, going into uh, the New Hampshire primary, I think the, the story of the night is the rise of Amy Klobuchar yeah. uh, as, as the alternative to Biden. Um, obviously, you know, going into South Carolina, a state that Buttigieg is not viewed uh, to be particularly strong in, uh, seeing an alternative come out to Biden, kind of operating that center lane. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if she can actually leapfrog uh, Joe Biden tonight. I think if she does, I think that uh, that could spend a, a real hard issue for Senator, uh, Vice President Joe Biden going forward. Good chance she leapfrog leapfrogs and comes in third. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see what happens. We're out of time. Brian, Ed, thank you both for coming in and sharing your perspectives with us tonight. Thanks. Of course.